Right. You can tell Te technology. <laughs> Hold on, let me do this here. Hi, Rachel, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, hi, Rachel, hi. I don't know, are you on video or do you just want to do audio? Um, it, actually, I'm kind of in a dungeon right now at work, so maybe... There you are. You're looking lovely. How are you? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for, I know you've taken time out your work to come and share a little bit of your story with, with people in the webinar. So thank you so much for doing that. I know you're a busy, busy woman, but um, I'd love it if you were just to, you know, you know, give people a bit of background of kind of what you were like before the program, a little bit about the program and where you are now. Sure. Um, so <clears throat> I started my cycle when I was 13. I always had severe pain, Was stayed home from school every day. When I started working, I stayed home from school. Always had pain when I ovulated. Um, never knew. I just actually thought I was a big wimp and had a low uh, pain threshold. And then um, finally, I ended up going to my OBGYN and said, there's something wrong with me because I'm, it got progressively worse over the years. So I'm 39 now. Um, I got diagnosed two years ago. Um, actually, she wanted to do a lap 10 years ago, but I didn't want to do surgery. So I opted out of that. And then finally, after being in bed for days, after a few months of that, I said, no, I'm not doing this any longer. I need to find out what's wrong. So I got diagnosed, my bladder's covered, um, you know, cysts on my ovaries, Thank uh, my you. uterus covered. Um, luckily, I don't think my bowels are involved. Um, you know, she ablated what she could, but after two months, my pain came back full force. I only got two, two months of pain relief. Um, then of course my options were birth control, which I had already been doing over the past 30 years, well, 15 years. And so that wasn't an option. And then I was told hysterectomy, which I thought this doesn't even make any sense for me to have hysterectomy when my bladder's involved too. And I'm gonna have to be on hormone replacement, so I'm still gonna be feeding it. So then I, um, Lupron was the other option, which I did do one injection of that. And then after doing more research on it, I realized that that's poison. Um, I ended up with a migraine almost every single day. Um, I was put into menopause within a week. My moods were crazy. I, I could not function on that. Um, I knew there was, there had to be some other way. And then I came ac across Wendy's book and um, I read it and I thought, okay, this is something that's attainable because I had already read another book, but it was things that were out of reach that there was just no way impossible that you could even incorporate this into your life. Um, I applied for the pilot program. I was at a lowest point. Um, it was affecting my work life. I was calling off work. Um, I didn't really have much of a social life. And even when I was out, I was pretending like I wasn't in pain when I was in pain. It just... If you have it, you know, it just infects your entire world. So luckily, um, my desperation was shown in my video because uh, Wendy chose me to be in the cult pilot program. Um, I followed everything that she said to a T the first, what, 12 weeks, or no, it was the sixth, well, it was it 12 weeks, the whole um, foundation program. And I started to notice a difference overall. Um, just emotionally, mentally, physically. Um, this whole program is like, it incorporates everything into your life. Um, I have my cycles decreased with flow, clots, um, pain is tremendously decreased. I don't even feel pain when I ovulate anymore, which is crazy because I always felt when I ovulated. Um, let's see. My nails are strong. They used to be always weak, brittle, break off. Um, that's one thing that was like huge for me. Um, energy wise, I have more energy. Uh, I don't have as many headaches as I used to before. And actually the main thing is that I, I am aware of how everything around me affects me, whether it be a person, um, you know, being at my, my job, or anything I put on my body, put into my body, that has been huge for me. I'm really in tune with my body now and listen to it. And it, and actually everyone's body does this. It gives you warning signs 
and it's just a matter of you listening to them or not. And a lot of people just ignore it and, and don't think that your body's actually communicating with you. And, and you, you find that really hard to start with, didn't you? And, and now you're kind of like, I quite like this getting to having a relationship with my body thing. Because of course, it's a bit scary for a woman with endometriosis because the body's been screaming at them and causing them all sorts of pain up until now. And now you've got this kind of relationship in inverted commas with your body where you kind of, if you ignore it, then it screams at you louder. But now you've got this good working relationship with it, haven't you? Yes, I do. And I think you'd even go so far to say you almost quite like your body now. Is, or is that pushing it? Yeah, that's been kind of a struggle for me because I just started working out the past two years. And I don't know, you know, anything that causes inflammation increases symptoms. And I think that I put, my, put myself over the top, per se. I mean, plus my job was really stressful. I actually made changes with my job and everything, which was very hard for me because I've been doing the same thing thing for 17 years and I made that change and it's been actually the best thing that I could have done for myself. And have you felt the support through the programs helped you make those changes? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just having you there to, to talk to about it. Um, you know, it's not that you told me what to do. It was just more like supporting the decisions that I was making and encouraging me that that was probably the best thing for me to do. Yeah, I think, yeah, just, I think just supporting you to hear yourself because that's, that's the thing. I think, yeah, absolutely. Yep. And what about obviously the foundation program, as you were saying, put foundations in the advanced program, took it to another level. If there's women that are thinking about doing the advanced, obviously that's part of becoming a certified practitioner, but what would you say for them to expect in the advanced? Uh, so if I hadn't done the advanced, I don't think I would have made more changes. I wouldn't have changed my job. It kind of just like ties everything together. It makes you aware of, I don't know how I don't want to say this, um, just more environmental things that are affecting you, um, just more detailed information about, you know, the progesterone cream and how to use it. And I don't know. It just, it's, it's additional support that I needed, and I'm glad that I stuck with it. If I hadn't, and I don't know where the other ladies are at, but I know where we and Candace were before we did the advance, and we've made significant improvements, more so than we did within the foundation program. I think it's your confidence within yourselves and within your body, and and yeah, being on this, like you're you're definitely in charge and in control of what's happening in your life and in your body and what's going on around you now, which you didn't feel I didn't feel that you had been but you definitely do now oh for sure and how do you feel about you know obviously the hopefully the next step is you're going to be moving on to the, the coach university and then sharing this message you know of heal endometriosis and actually how do you feel about doing that I'm excited about that you know I work in healthcare, and you know it's frustrating for me to see people ill when they could be preventing it so for me helping someone feel better especially someone with endometriosis, because I mean, being, having this and being at such a low level of it affecting your entire life and thinking that you're never going to have a good life or have a physical relationship with a person, um, you know, sexually per se, you know, I'm single. So, I mean, that was one thing that was huge for me. Um, but yeah, I, I want to help others realize that they can prevent illnesses, especially endometriosis, by making lifestyle changes. That really is key and it can be done on living proof. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Lou, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to come and chat to us. I don't know if you've got time to hang around, if anyone's got any questions. If not, I understand if you if you want to jump off. But thank you so much, Rachel. I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem, Winnie. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, right.